Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are new around here, it's something a bit different on here. We have got a tier list for 2021 Premier League kits. If you guys are looking to buy any retro or current football shirts, classicfootballshirts.com is the place to go. Use the link in the description below and Longhurst at checkout for 10% off of your order. Classic Football Shirts stock over 300 new items per day and is definitely the place to go for all your Classic Football Shirts needs. Going a simple tier list here. Perfect, good, decent, not great, and get in the bin. Now we'll start off with Burnley. It's quite hard to see these kits. They are quite small. I'm not sure why they're so small. But Burnley's kit, from what I remember, their sleeve starts like halfway down. It looks really, really strange. So I'm going to say, for the neck and the sleeves alone, I'm going to say not great. I'm not a massive fan of where the sleeve starts. If the sleeve starts on the shoulder, that's fine. But the sleeve pattern starts halfway down the arm, which is very, very strange. In terms of Newcastle, it's kind of just a straightforward, a straightforward kit. I'd say it's decent. It's a black and white stripe. You can't really do much of it. There's not much really else to say. I mean, it's just black and white. Uh, Wolves kit, I'd say I need a big look at this picture. Let's have a look. Let me have a look on the website and see if I can find bigger images of these kits. Because for you guys, I'll put it on screen. But for me, that's the only image I can see is a really small one. So the Wolves kit, we've got a little, little look here. It's got a nice pattern to it. I must say it has got a nice pattern. I'd say it's decent. I mean, all the kits have been decent so far almost. But I'll give it a decent. It's not really a good... It's, uh, it's good. Actually, I'll give it a good kit. I'll give it good. Man City's, I really like this year. I think Man City's kit is great. I'm going to be looking over here a lot. I need to look at the actual kits. I think it's a nice pattern. It's had some controversial opinions. All the kits have had some controversial opinions, especially the away and the third kit. But I actually think the home kit is good. I like the marble effect or the mosaic effect. I think it's really nice. You guys can't see it, but I'll put it on screen for you soon. But yeah, I think it's a really nice kit overall. Liverpool's, now I'm going to be controversial and say not great. I don't like the green I do not like the green. It looks like a Christmas kit. I think it's just not very nice. I think the collar doesn't work with the green. I think the sleeves don't work with the green. I think the reds and the white by itself would be nice. It would be a decent or a good kit. However, I just think it just stands out too much and not really nice. Spurs get in the bin. That's easy. Let's not talk about that. That's a simple one. Uh, Brighton, I'm going to say it's actually perfect. I can't lie. I think the collar makes it. I think the collar makes it good. The simple colour of stripes, I think... That is a really nice kit and probably one that probably will be one of the best this seasons, I think. Chelsea's, without the sponsor, I would say it's a great kit. It's a nice, just plain blue. However, I think with the sponsor, you've got to go for decent. By the way, guys, let me know down below what you guys think about this kit order. Do it yourself as well. I'll leave a link to the tier list if you want to give a, get involved as well. But let me know what you guys think. See, West Ham this year... If their away kit was on it, it'd be getting the bin. Their away kit is atrocious. Or say our away kit. I'm a West Ham fan, by the way, guys. Hence, Spurs are getting the bin. But overall, I mean, the badge is too big. It's a decent kit. The sleeves start at a nice place. The neckline's good. However, the badge is so big, it takes up like a third of the kit. I'm going to leave it on decent. I think if it was a smaller badge, I'd say good. If it was the old badge, I'd say perfect. But it's a decent kit. Emirates, or the, at Arsenal rather, I'm going to say perfect. I think it's a really nice kit this year. I think the away kit is nice if the marble effect wasn't red. But I think they've nailed the home one. I think the pattern on the home... I look for patterns in kits. Patterns make the kits stand out. I think the pattern's good. The three stripes down the side of the Adidas. I think it's a really nice kit this year. And in terms of Southampton, it's a bit like the West Ham's Thunderbird kit, if you guys remember on social media a few years ago. It's got that weird sort of weird sort of tassel or whatever it is down the, down the middle. It's not a tassel. I don't know what it's called. Um, but I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a decent. It's not terrible. It's a basic kit. It's Southampton. You can't do much of with red and white unless you want to go full stripes like Newcastle. But overall, decent kit. Let me look at Leicester's. Leicester's tends to be just a plain a plain blue kit, isn't it? Um, I don't like the neckline. I'm going to say not great. It looks nice on that picture, but there's a neckline that starts around here, which is very, very, very strange. But overall, I'll give it a not great. It's not my preferred choice. Sheffield United's. I'm going to say decent. Once again, it's a, plain, it's a plain red and white stripe. What do you want me to say about it? It's just red and white. There's not much else. The sponsor's not the best, though. I might go not great. I think the, the sleeves look nice. Ah, oh, the sleeves make it decent. The sponsor makes it not great. Let me look at the neckline. Let me see what the neckline The neckline's important in kits. You guys know it as well. Don't, don't say you don't. Um, I'm going to give it a decent. I'll keep it a decent. Aston Villa. Let's have a look at theirs, their kit for us. I think it's probably, it's probably, 
are decent as well. I mean, most kits are decent. There's not much that stands out. Not much stands out in kits this year for some reason. I think the ones that do are obviously good or perfect. But Aston Villa's kit, plain claret and blue, kind of similar to West Ham's, apart from the blue goes up a little bit more on the sleeve. That is pretty much the only difference. Now, West Brom's is a barcode. Simple as. I'm not a fan of barcodes, <laughs> funny enough. Um, I'll put get in the bin for that. And Crystal Palace joins them as well. I think Crystal Palace's kit this year is horrific. I think it's just not very nice. I don't like it. So I think there are three getting the bins for sure. West Brom's is a barcode. And Crystal Palace's stripes have been converted to some weird sort of arrows. I'm not even sure. I have no idea what they are. But the Leeds kit, their first year back in the Premier League in years. And I think it's quite clean. I think the sponsor's good. That is a different sponsor. That's not the, that's not the same kit. That's a different kit than what I'm seeing here. I'll put on the screen the actual Leeds kit. But the one I'm seeing here... I'm going to give it a good. It's clean. It's white. The sponsor's blue as well, so it matches the blue linings. I think it's really good. The Man United kit we've got here. Ooh. I like the pattern. I do like it, but it might be a bit too much. I'm going to give it a good. I'm going to give it a good kit. It's one of the better ones this year, for sure. It's one of the better ones, for sure. Now, Everton's one's an interesting one, because I actually really like it. I think it's a really nice kit. Hummel's make, Hummel make it, which is a strange sort of brand. It's not really too common in the Premier League. But I like it a lot. But the thing is, the sponsor makes it horrible. I think if we go for the kit alone, it could be near enough perfect. It has got the chevrons on the side, which could be improved on. I'm going to give it a good. I'm going to give it a good. It's a nice colour. It's a nice pattern. Nice, nice brand, to be fair. The sponsor is what makes it weird. The sponsor makes it really weird. Kazoo is a weird sponsor for a kit. I don't know why, but it just is. And now we've got Fulham. Let me find Fulham. For some reason, Fulham aren't on this website by the looks of it. Um, where is Fulham? Fulham don't exist, apparently, in the Premier League, according to the Premier League website. Uh, maybe it wasn't released in time. Let me have a look. Yeah, there's no Fulham kit on the website. Let me have a look. Let me give a good, quick Google. Very prepared, guys, as you can tell. Uh, Fulham kit 2020 21. Let's have a look of what they've got. Oh, it looks quite nice. Is that, is that, wait, where is the official? They haven't released it yet. Have they released it? I'm not sure they've released their kit. They must have released their kit, surely. They must have released their kit. No. There's no 2020 Fulham kit yet. What are you doing, Fulham? I'm going to have to put you in the bin. You haven't even tried yet. You haven't even tried. There's no effort from Fulham. They've just put no effort in. They've literally just decided, you know what? Let's not make a kit this year. So they're getting the bin. So overall to review, anything I'd change. Brighton and Arsenal, 100% perfect, I'd say. Nice patterns, nice collars. I'll give it that. Good Wolves, decent pattern. Mosaic pattern for um, Man City as well. I'll give that a decent go. So Leeds kit is different to what you see, guys. That is nice, though. Man use a weird one, but I think I'll leave it as good. Gut instincts as good. Same with Everton. Decent. I think Newcastle might be not great. Compared to these kits, Newcastle doesn't add as much, but it's, it's not not great. It's like an in-between of decent and not great. It's okay. Um, but I'll leave it there. Chelsea without a sponsor could be good, but it's not good with that massive free. West Ham's logo is too big, otherwise it would be good. Southampton's pretty basic. Sheffield United's basic. Aston Villa's basic. Burnley's collar and sleeves are horrific. Liverpool do not like the green. Leicester, what was it? The neckline, wasn't it? The neck was, was very, very strange. And getting the bin, Spurs, of course. Uh, West Brom's barcode. Crystal Palace's arrows. And Fulham haven't even turned up. And that note, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you change in the comments below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Remember, link to Classic Football shirts down below. Selling out a little bit, but why not? Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you all later.